weird. Okay, what does the word some mean? Add. Add. Okay, what does product mean? The answer. Division. No, not multiplication. Multiplication. Okay, so basically, what we have here, we are finding two numbers that multiply together to give me 7x squared and, and add seven. together to be 8x. 1 and 7. Okay, 1 and 7, or 1x and 7x. Okay, what can you multiply together to get seven? There's only one thing that you can. No, there's actually two things. What else could you multiply together to get seven x squared? One. We have one x and seven x. What else? Anybody think of anything else? How about? Negative. Very good, Anthony. <laughs> you smart cookie. Okay, but does this add together to be eight x? No. no. Okay, so this is the one we're looking for. Now, if you're really good with your multiplication tables, okay, you can do a lot of this in your head. If, if you struggle a little bit, use your calculator. And I'll show you what I mean here in just a second. Now, on the second one, <coughs> we're looking for something that adds to be 15x and multiplies together to be 36x squared. What can we, let's just think of different possibilities that we could multiply together to get 36x squared. 6 times 6. Okay, that's 1. What about 1? I always start with 1. 1x one times 36x. 2 times what? 13. I mean, but yeah. Okay, does 3 go into that? 12. Oops, I don't know why I worked with the x squared. Does 4 go into 36? Nine. I made it. What about 6? Six? 6. Okay. 6x six times 6x. Six now, I could also do the negatives. Okay. Do any of those add together to be 15x? 2x times 6 Okay. We got 2x times 13 and 3x and 13 times. Or 4x times 9. But is that, is that 15? That's 13. Oh, yeah. no, that is my fault. Yeah. Ooh, there's 2 here. I've never seen that. I just Scott just said that. Oh, because that's not 13, because I listened to you. What What is 36 divided by 2? 12. It's not 12. It's How about 18. that? No, I didn't say that. Yes, you, you did. That's your own. No, you uh, said 13. I said 3 and 12. Because I wrote it down. Uh -huh. Okay, so now, which two add together to be 15x? 3 and 12. Three and 12. Those were the two we're looking for. That's what I said. Okay, now, what do we notice on 3? They add together to be what? They add together to be a... Yeah, negative 7. I, I mean... On, a, what's that? Uh, that's a, negative. a negative. But they multiply to be positive. So that tells me both of my answers have to be what? Negative. negative. Okay. What can we multiply together that's negative that, that equals 3x squared? What can we multiply to get 3x squared? Nothing. Yeah, we can. There's Nothing. only one. No, you can't. To get 3x squared? No. What about 1 times 3? What is that? No. 1x <clears throat> times 3x. But th does that add together to be negative 4x? No. No. But. <laughs> Why are you laughing? You're not allowed to laugh. I'm not allowed to laugh? No. Now, but negative 1x times yeah. negative 3x, that does multiply together to get 3x squared. Can I borrow that pencil over there? Yeah. Okay. And they add together to be negative 4x. Okay, now. Okay. Like I always start with the product. Okay. Now, the product is what? Positive or negative? Negative. Negative. So, what does that tell me? How do I, if I multiply two things together, how do I come up with a negative? 
A negative times a positive. Very good. So one of them has to be negative and one of them has to be positive. We, okay. Now, what different things can we multiply together to get 12? 1, 3, and 4. 1 and 12. 1x one times 12x. What else? 2x. Two, 2x two and 6x. And 3x and 4x. Four. Four now, we have to make one of them negative and make them add together to be 1x. Okay, which one should I look at? 3x and 4x, very good. Now, which one can I make negative to make the sum positive 1x? The 3, very good. Okay, so this is one we're looking for. Okay, good so far. Okay, now, on five, okay, we notice the product is what? Negative 64. Okay, the product's negative, so one positive, one negative. Okay, now the sum is what? Zero. One positive and one, if you're adding a positive and a negative and it equals zero, that tells me those two numbers have to be the what? The same, but one's positive and one's eight and eight. Very good. So a positive eight x times a negative eight x. Those multiply together to be negative sixty four x squared, and add together to be zero. Okay. Good so far. Number six. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna grab a calculator. Come up with different things that multiply together to be 300 or negative 300. Yeah. That tells me one of them has to be negative. I'll just start with 1x and 300. Negative. Okay. 2. Okay. 2x and 150. 150. 3. And, and 100. 5. Okay, what's 300 divided by 5? Somebody help me out. 60. 60. Okay, what about... Uh, 6. 300 divided by 6? Is 50. So 6. Okay, what about... I know 10 will. What's, what's 300 divided by 10? 30. Very good. Okay, now, let's just look and see if I have to keep going. If I make one of them negative, okay, so look here. Which one do I have to, which one do I have to make negative? Okay, are you sure? They add to be negative 20. No, negative 30. Negative 30. So these are the two I'm looking for. Okay, and the last one. The last one. Product of negative 6x squared, so that tells me one positive, one negative, and adds to be negative 1. Okay, what are the factors of 6? 1 and 6, and 2 and 3. Okay, now, can I make one of those negative to make the sum be negative x? Okay, which which t which one's the most? Okay, so looking right here and making the negative three. negative three. Very good. Okay, now this is like I said. This is just the first part. Okay, once once you get comfortable with this. Okay, some of you right now will be able to, you know, do it upstairs. Okay, you you will get better at this. Uh, once you get this down, factoring will be easy, okay?